We're going to go to our senior investigative correspondent, Aaron Kotursky, at the federal courthouse there in Miami. Good morning, Aaron. Robin, good morning to you. The former president is expected here this afternoon to present himself at court. He's going to be taken to the 13th floor, appear before a federal magistrate where he could enter a plea of not guilty. At no time will Trump be in handcuffs, but neither will he be free. The FBI and the U.S. Marshals are going to take his fingerprints. It's an electronic scan, no ink on the fingers. They'll also take his mugshot. Around here, there's little visible security other than a stretch of yellow tape around some trees. The courthouse is open for business, though proceedings may be limited once Trump arrives. The Secret Service, though, is tracking online invitations to demonstrate against the indictment. Some of those invitations have echoed Trump's incendiary rhetoric about the charges and the special counsel. The police are on alert for any sign of trouble, saying they're taking this seriously and preparing for a crowd of 5,000 to 50,000. George. Okay, Aaron, thanks very much. We're, let's bring in our chief legal analyst, Dan Abrams. And Dan, let's start with the judge in this case, Aileen Cannon. Earlier, she had some very favorable rulings to Donald Trump. Some said they were flawed as well. They were overturned. She could have enormous impact on this case. Huge. She can impact everything from how long the case takes, when it starts. Uh, jury selection is going to be very critical. What evidence gets admitted or doesn't? Classified information detailing exactly, you know, what should be declassified, what shouldn't, what should the defense have access to, what shouldn't they? And then finally, she could issue a ruling as a matter of law to dismiss the case. So she has enormous potential influence on the case. And, and she also has great control over the time. She could almost certainly on her own keep it from happening before the election. Absolutely. Uh, and, and look, and I think that the prosecution is going to try and move the case very quickly. The defense is going to definitely try and slow roll it till after the election. Jury selection. Is it possible to find an unbiased jury in this case? Look, unbiased. I think it is definitely possible to find a jury of people who have not come in with a preconceived decision. It is stunning. I've covered trials my whole career. It is amazing that once the trial starts, how seriously jurors take cases. And so I think you will find people who voted for Donald Trump or voted against Donald Trump who will walk into that courtroom and say, I will listen to the evidence and decide it based on that. Dan Abrams. But thanks. it'll be tough and it'll take a while. Okay. Yeah. Dan Abrams, yeah. thanks very much. ABC's going to have live coverage when Trump heads to the court this afternoon. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.